G'day, welcome back to another episode of Toggle. Final one for the year. What a big year it's been too. Anyway, uh, this last week or so, the weather has been getting a lot warmer and drier. We haven't had rain for well over a week now. Um, this is our third summer and I've not seen it um, as brown as it is at the moment. So the grass has really dried out a lot in the last week. Yesterday I was up here and I spent a good portion of the day driving around all the paddocks pulling thistles. Uh, the thistles are all starting to come to a head now so a lot of them I'd already pulled before they got to that stage. Once uh, they get to the head stage I've really got to get them out fast because I do not want those heads uh, breaking open and spreading seed everywhere. So yesterday I actually had the machete. Some I pulled but the majority I just chopped off at ground level with the machete, threw them in the back of the car uh, and that's the pile right there. Huge pile of thistles. Um, the reason I don't just leave them in the paddock is I have seen them in years previous where uh, if it's got to that head stage when I've cut it down and left it there, as it dries, the head still breaks open and all that seed comes out because it all comes out like fluff uh, and then gets windborne and blown everywhere. So I thought, no, nope, this time I'm just going to chop them all down. I'll bring them back here. I'm going to burn them. So this is where we had the bonfire the other week. I've still got a whole heap of uh, little thin scraggly branches and stuff from those blackwoods that came down in the storm several months ago that I need to clean up. So I'll pile that on top and then later this evening, I'm going to start here tonight, I'll have a bonfire and uh, cremate all of those thistles, make sure they can't do any damage at all. Anyway, uh, my project for today is uh, I've already started building the third raised veggie garden. That'll be the final raised veggie garden that we build in that uh, area there. So I was up here uh, four or five days ago and was working on that, but I really need to get that done. So I'll show you little bits of it, but you've seen how I build them. You've seen the other two, so I won't waste too much time on that. Uh, there's other things I plan to do over the next uh, two days which I'll show you, they'll make for an interesting video today. Uh, anyway, um, before it gets too much warmer, I really want to get cracking into this, so best I get down there. It's still in shade at the moment, which is great, and I'll start working on this veggie bed. The other thing I need to get done is fill up my solar shower. With it being so hot and it's going to be really dirty and dusty today, I'm going to need a shower by the end of the day. So I'll fill up the solar hot water bag and uh, at least I can have a, a nice, not so cold shower later on this evening.
Well, it's finished. I shouldn't say it's finished, it's built. I still need to fill it. <laughs> it's uh, at 6 p.m. So I've been, uh, been going all day getting that done and it's been hot. Like it is real, and it is still really hot. I have no idea how many liters of water I've drunk today, I've lost count. Uh, just filling the water bottle up every time and every time I fill up the water bottle I'm having extra cups of water whilst I'm filling up the water bottle so lots of water anyway um, yeah so tomorrow I will commence filling that up for now though uh, I've loaded up water onto the back of the car OBC and I'm gonna go up and water the grapes they're definitely gonna need a drink this afternoon uh, now it doesn't get dark till about 9.30, I said at 6pm, so what I'm planning on is I'm going to go and water the grapes and I'll water the olives and then I'm going to take a couple of beers and my dinner, I'm going to go and sit up by the lake uh, up there at the upper Natone uh, or Natone Hills fly fishery uh, and see if I can't catch a trout and then that'll make a nice brekkie tomorrow morning if I do uh, but if anything it'll just be nice to sit down there in the cool of the evening so uh, yeah, let's get up there. Uh, you wait till you see how long the grass is up there now. I've really got to get up there and do some slashing as well, but it's on the list. We'll get there. We'll go water up and then I'm looking forward to taking that break. Well, as you can see, <laughs> the grass is pretty long. It's almost up to the tops of some of these grapevines. Anyway, I'll get these watered and uh, we'll get up to the lake, eh? Well, these are our olive trees, well some of them anyway. Um, we've actually, we planted a dozen through here. We've lost two, unfortunately. Uh, I think just due to the weather and whatnot. So we've still got 10. Anyway, I'll get some water on these. And then we're heading up to the lake <laughs> to go fishing. I'm hanging for that fishing and for some dinner. spot it is down here and we back onto it perfect <laughs> uh, me and Christine are fantastic neighbours um, they're wonderful wonderful people and if you get the opportunity to come and fish here at uh, the Tone Hills Fly Fishery then yeah do so now it's called uh, the Tone Hills Fly Fishery you don't have to fly fish you can bait you can do whatever you want so I'm going to take the lazy option cast out a worm and, uh, and then I'm going to settle in and have a uh, nice little bite to eat. Alright, so, oh, I've been looking forward to this all day. I have beautiful 
Folk St George, what an amazing Tasmanian beer. I love this stuff. Made down in Launceston. Probably about an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes from here. Uh, what a way to rehydrate at the end of the day. And I've got some Ashgrove smoked Tasmanian cheddar. cheddar um, and some crackers. Now, Ashgrove cheese is a, obviously a Tasmanian company. Um, they're probably only about 40 minutes from here. Uh, just down, just past Devonport, and they make beautiful cheeses. So uh, if you can find it all across Australia, so have a look for Ashgrove cheese. Really nice Tasmanian pepperberry cheese is amazing. Couldn't get any of that today, so I settled with the the uh, smoked cheddar, which uh, is great. You know, it is uh, 20 past eight at night. Um, I love this time of year. It's the really long days. I get so much done. Um, and you know, you look at everything that I've done today, I've got that veggie garden built. You know, I didn't show you much of that, but that would have bored you. Uh, then was able to go and get everything watered like I wanted to, finish building the bonfire, which we'll go back and light later on. Go and get everything watered and, uh, and even have time to come down and have a fish. And I can see a fish just over there. I'm not sure if that's in camera or not, but it's just sloshing around on the surface. Now the deal with this fly fishery, or this fishery is, uh, it is catch and no release. So whatever you catch, you keep, it is stocked, and you just pay for what you catch. So if you don't catch anything, you don't need to pay. Um, but if you do catch something, which chances are a lot better. You won't always catch something, but your chances are a lot better uh, because it is stocked. It's a great place to introduce people to fishing or little kids to fishing. Uh, you know, because the chances are they're going to catch something. If they're not going to catch something, they're at least going to see the fish jumping around and that. So it keeps that interest. Uh, and I think it's a great place. Places like this are fantastic for teaching the next generation about fishing and getting them interested in fishing. And for me, it's just a fantastic place to come and chill out. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Enjoy the cheese and crackers. Rehydrate after a very hot day. Hopefully catch a fish, which I said would be for but I've got cereal, so if I catch a fish, I think it'll be for lunch tomorrow. That is really good cheddar. Well, they don't seem too interested in the worm. And I'm seeing plenty of trout move around on the surface, so I'm thinking I might have to get a bit more active and uh, flick a couple of lures around and see if I can't entice one with that. So I've got two rods. I'll, uh, I'll get a lure onto this one. I'll leave that worm in and uh, double our chances of getting a fish. Yeah, is that bad if was 
again. He just went right past me. Well, as I said, you don't always catch something. So it looks like I'll be having two minute noodles for lunch tomorrow. <laughs> but it was really nice to just sit down here and relax. It's nice and cool now, it's nice and peaceful. So uh, I need to get back, have a shower, that uh, solar hot water, the solar um, shower bag has been in the sun all day. so. It should be nice and warm. It's probably just starting to cool off a little now, but that's all right. I just needed it to take the chill off it. I definitely need a shower. So I'll go back, have a quick shower, and um, get the bonfire lit. Well, that feels great to have a shower. There's nothing like being clean and dry when you're out bush, <laughs> relaxing. But it's getting dark as you can tell. Not much light left. I need to get this bonfire lit now. I don't think it's gonna go up as well as the one the other week, um, but we'll see how we go anyway. It's much smaller, this one.
Well, that was a big day yesterday. And today I've got a very mundane, but big day. Uh, it's just gonna be filling up that veggie garden. So load up the logs and then the red soil and then the sawdust and bark and then the nice dark soil. <clears throat> so that's pretty much all I'm gonna be doing today. It will take the best part of the day. It's uh, overcast. We are due rain tomorrow, uh, either today or tomorrow. I'm not sure when that's due to come in, but I know we were expecting some rain. So hopefully a bit cooler, but I'm gonna get stuck into getting all of this stuff moved and uh, getting that garden bed filled. I'll be so glad when that's done. Well, there we have it. Finally finished. And I mean finished this time. All we've got to do is put plants in it now. It took about a day and a half of moving dirt, both with the tractor and shoveling it. So a lot of effort all up probably around three to three and a half days worth of effort when you take into account getting the posts, charring them, uh, getting the timber and milling it, assembling it, filling it. A lot of work goes into each one of these. Uh, this is the last one where we're only going to have the three in here for now. <laughs> I really don't want to build any more, not for a long time anyway. There's a lot of work goes into them and I think we've got enough space now. We've got that and then we've got other beds as you've seen. Uh, with asparagus and potatoes and those sorts of things that we've just planted directly into the ground. So all that's left for me to do this afternoon is just water up and, uh, and then head home and get cleaned up. But this is the last one for the year. So I thought I'd just take a moment to thank everyone for their support this year. Uh, this has been our second year here. Uh, January 5th, 2021, we moved here. Um, so yeah, we're just approaching in the next uh, week and a half our full second year here. And we've achieved a lot in this second year too, uh, compared to what we achieved in the first year. But still not as much as we wanted to. I still can't believe we haven't even started uh, to put the shed up. We haven't even got the, the final approval to start putting the shed up here yet after two years. It's crazy. We're getting close. Uh, it'll definitely happen next year. I'm 100% sure of that. It will definitely happen next year um because we're pretty close to it now anyway like i said thanks very much our, our subscribers have doubled if you haven't subscribed please do it doesn't cost anything and it definitely helps the channel and helps other people find i'm going to make a few changes next year as well so i'm going to change the way that i write the title uh instead of it just being you know toggle 2023 episode 13 or whatever it might be I'll actually give it a title that's more descriptive of what that episode is about. Uh, and then I might, on the end of that, put that it's a uh, toggle year and episode, just for keeping track of it. But I definitely see a lot of other channels doing it, and I think it, it catches the attention of people to have that little comment in there uh, as the title. So I'm definitely going to do that. I've been looking at ways of... Uh, increasing the viewers and, and getting more views as well because uh, now that I am seeing that there's interest in it it's actually become a bit of a challenge now I had no interest in making it big or doing anything with it except for just simply giving my friends and family back in Canberra uh, and, and everywhere else that I've got friends I've got friends all over Australia all over the world for that matter um, just to show them what we're doing but there was one instance about four or five episodes ago where YouTube actually promoted the video. We went from between one and 200 views on that one to well over a thousand views on that one episode. And that was simply because YouTube had uh, done it as one of their recommendations. And I thought, wow, that's, that's awesome. How do I get YouTube to recommend more? And a big part of that is actually viewer interaction as well. So uh, by clicking like and by leaving a comment. <clears throat> so what you'll probably see uh, in episodes next year is I will give you questions to answer. So leave a comment and I might even run a couple of giveaways as well. So, uh, and that'll be, you know, leave a comment and there's random pickers you can get uh, that will just randomly pick someone out of all the comments listed and we'll send you something. Uh, I've seen other channels do that. So I thought, well, why not? Because it's that viewer engagement that then gets YouTube to promote it. And it's a bit of that, uh, self-perpetuation that the more that they do that the more people watch it and therefore the more they will push it so why not 
It'll be interesting to see how it goes. But uh, I'm going to do a little bit more, hopefully, of interesting stuff out and around Tasmania as well, uh, as just stuff on the block. And hopefully we're going to have the build next year as well. So that's going to be a really exciting phase. So I've really got a lot planned for 2023. So I hope you stick with us. And like I said, I hope you enjoy them. I know a lot of you are. For a lot of people, it's become the Friday afternoon ritual or the end of the week ritual. Um, my brother-in-law, it's the Sunday morning ritual. Uh, see what I've been up to for the week. And like, I'm chuffed with that. I just think that's fantastic. So uh, it's not what I was expecting, but I'm really glad people are enjoying it. It gives me the, uh, the energy and enthusiasm to keep going. So yeah, like I said, thank you very much to all of you. I really do appreciate it. So uh, in I think 48 hours, it is New Year's Eve from this video anyway. So I will see you guys next year. So I hope you've had a great week. I want you to have a fantastic new year. Stay safe, take care. And I'll see you guys next year with the start of our brand new episodes. I'll see you then. Cheers.